to my 100 subscribers special. Thank you everyone who subscribed, 100 subscribers, that's pretty good. Um, let's try to get to 200 and I'll do another big uh, Roblox tutorial. And this is pretty big. Uh, how to make a map voting system in Roblox. And I'm gonna show you how to make the, um, the maps uh, generate after they voted. Um, we're gonna do it all. So let's let's start, please. If you want, and all the source code, all the, the whole model will be in my Discord server that I made. And if you want it, you gotta go subscribe first and you gotta join the Discord. And um, I wanna build a community. So let's do that. Let's, let's build up this community here. So anyway, let's begin. So I made my model from scratch. I'm gonna insert it from my uh, inventory. And I lay, I set it up, here's the layout. I just grouped it all so it'll be easier for you. You'll just put it in the uh, places that it tells you in the name. So it says ungroup in workspace. I'm gonna ungroup that. You see I got this little voting wall here with some pads. I made this all by myself. Uh, I'm not a builder. I did not build any of these maps. They're free models, but I don't care about that. You guys can make your own maps, and I'll show you where to put them in just a second. Um, yes, and these will come with the model. You can delete them, because I don't think any of you guys would want to use free models. But this is, I don't really, I'm not a builder, so. Alright, so put this in share with script service, ungroup. Put this in start UI, ungroup. Put this in starter character scripts, ungroup, and put this in replicate storage and ungroup. Um, and by the way, you, you really got to watch this tutorial to know how to set this up. It does work when I play it now, or it should anyway. It says map voting is five seconds, four seconds. I'm going to vote for the oh, buildings here. All right, it counts my vote. It says winning map is buildings loading map there it is the buildings over there and here it is game over starting a new game I should have moved the spawn a little closer ah, but it's okay because if, if if it's a tie it'll just choose a random one that there is on the board so yeah, and it resets your votes every every time the game's over. This is really functional, fully functional. It works. That's fully functional. You guys can play around with it. Um, yeah. Buildings, yeah, so. Okay, so. Cool. So, first things first. Um... I already made this GUI here. It just I like how having it on a wall. Personal preference. I just made a surface GUI and I made two frames. Because I only want two. But if and um if you if you wanted to make another one you would have to um duplicate it and position it and name it map three frame and then you would have to go into the pad and say um, you would have there's an object value map selected in in each pad this should be pad three so in e each pad has one so it's an object value just click on the value of the pad and select the right frame in this case it would be map three frame but I just deleted it so yeah so it would be I would set this equal to map three right here and then I yeah but I don't want to have three so I'm not gonna do that um, so we got two pads let me show you how you can install Put in your own maps. So in replicated storage, 
also uh, in the pads there's this num votes value it's an int value this is basically the number of votes that's going to display right uh, right here on the, on the board so when this value is changed it will update here so in replicated storage I got a folder named holder and these are just the models uh, that I'm using I have four free models so if you if you're watching just do delete all of them what's going on uh, delete all of them and just start making your own maps just for an example test map it has to be a model by the way that's just the way I made it I'm pretty sure yeah just make this then group it make it a model whatever it is then put it in uh, the holder uh, and then the maps folder we're, we're gonna clone this into here so it just picks out some maps that we want to use and this yeah this is re it's just a value to know when we got to reset the votes this is the status that will display at the top of the screen this is the event that we use. I, I, I use the touched event in a client uh, script. Yeah, the touched event right here. So it then fires the, serv the, the server script. And the server script would be right here. Map voting main. This is the script that handles pretty much everything Be well it, it requires all the module scripts that has the, everything that works so I s um so yeah this is the event that I was talking about the this is what happened when, when the player touches the pad we're just gonna add their the pad and the vote this is just uh from the module script voting wall mod I made this the module script update voting main GUI so you, you know you don't you don't really got to worry about this too much if you you can try to so uh, do whatever you want cures but but yeah if you want to change the time of your uh, game just come up here to the status bar module script and and um, you can make two va variables if you want local vote time equals I'll say uh, 10 seconds then I'll just update this to say vote time just like that that's that's if you want I already set it to seven seconds just for testing and you can also say um, local game time equals 15 seconds and then down here you would have to update the values where it says game game time this is a pretty messy script but I was just trying to get it done so yeah so yeah, just to update all the values where it says game and you can change what it the, the status says please feel free to modify the script it's just what I did anyways um, I'm trying to think if that's it um, might be it actually because I if I if I were to make this on a, a video it would have taken a few hours yeah this took a few hours to make but hope this helps guys now if you want the model go into the description or the comment section I'll put the link in both and go into join my discord server if you don't have a discord account you gotta make one it's 
it's honestly it's not hard to make one and join the server and you can get the code there and and subscribe because if you subscribe and and, and you're in my discord i'm gonna whatever you suggest for me to do from for other videos i will do uh, i was planning on making some cool games uh, tutorials uh like a simulator or something of that uh, nature a simulator or a murder game i don't know anything so uh, you guys let me know you gotta join up my discord it's the only way so i want to build up this community on this i want to build a, a a following a following on this channel and i want to get some people in my discord server i just created it who will be the first there we'll see if you're the first there uh that would be awesome. I'll say hi to you then. I'll say hi to all of you. That's it, guys. Hope this helps you out. Enjoy it. And, yes. Um, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Hit the like. Do everything I just said. And see you in my next tutorial.